Ever wonder why you can't look away from a horror movie once it starts? Even if your nerves are on edge and you're watching through your fingers? I once heard fear is the most powerful negative emotion, and horror movies exploit it masterfully. The horror genre is incredibly versatile, offering something for everyone. Some grab your attention by the throat and never let go, while others are slowly unveiling themselves as the story progresses. Either approach has spawned incredible movies, but we are going to focus on the ones with killer intros that hook you right away. Let me share some wisdom with you. I won't go through how many horror movie openings create a spooky atmosphere using eerie music, dim lighting and careful camera work. They are important of course and also responsible for making viewers feel uneasy and drawing them into the world of the film. But there is one aspect I noticed to put the focus on now. In an age where we have access to film by ourselves, a sea of horror shorts content is ruling the airwaves. Sometimes there are popular ones resonating with the audience and getting the treatment to become a feature length movie, with successful and mediocre instances. Some know how to build upon their original idea better, while others have only a concept for a few minutes but try to stretch it out, getting mixed to bad results. The Conjuring movies 1 and 2 open with one case which is not really part of the main plot, or at least it seems that way, but they left a mark and especially the creepy Annabelle doll – seriously, would you ever let this thing into your house? – is more or less the main association when someone thinks of the first movie, albeit not being the main culprit. Its popularity spawned three spin-off movies after all. They left an impression right away and they could also serve as a short horror flick. In some cases you could stop the movie after the first scene and you would have been blessed with a good short movie. You may be thinking, huh, that's not unique, as it is basic scene structure. Well, technically yes, but there are more elements at play here. Filmmakers structure the first scene like a short movie for several reasons. They are building up suspense with a mysterious or shocking event, wasting no time and throwing you right into the action. Sometimes it works as a prologue of the story, or it can be used for the inciting incident right away. This keeps viewers engaged, making them eager to find out the left answers and discover the secrets behind the scary scenes. Some could say this approach is more spectacle than story based, easier reaching people with short attention spans, but no, there is story and meaning behind all that. The intro acts as an endurance test. Can I take it or not? I think I can't handle this shit. Goodbye. Or, what the hell did I just witness? I want more. Besides the nail-biting suspense, you also get to know if there is gore to be expected, or if its goal is more scare-oriented or wanting to get under your skin. And now if you're still here and think you're able to sit through the rest, the good ones make you curious for what's to come. Who is the killer? Is he getting everyone he is after? Or may he be captured? What's the deal with this videotape and why are you gruesomely dying after 7 days by simply watching it? Why is there a clown in the sewer feeding on children? It's a showcase. To show you what's to come. A teaser. So you know what you're in for and can expect for the rest of the movie. The premise is presented here and you're welcome to enter this world. A good way to immediately hook the audience. But also they are setting the tone right away. Some ghost or demonic shit is happening here. I'm in. Is it a supernatural entity? There you go. A masked killer is after teenies? Here it is for your pleasure. You can't stomach seeing horrific things happening to a child? Sorry, they are the prey in this movie. Speaking of the little ones, there is a reason why children and women have frequently been depicted as the opening victims. The idea that women and children are often seen as vulnerable is used to create fear and suspense. It can elicit a stronger emotional response from the audience. The viewer may identify with or feel empathy for characters who traditionally have been perceived as vulnerable and in need of protection. It's also saying that no one will be spared. The agony of being a mom horror movies or most A24 horror flicks usually don't follow this format. They like to unfold as the story goes on. In some sense it's more risky, because by the end you have to earn the trust of the audience along the way, and if they are unhappy with the reveals bit by bit, some may feel unsatisfied by the experience, while the ones making a stand from the beginning have this hook to rely back on. In a nutshell, this short movie within a movie approach proves to be an effective method to create suspense, curiosity, presenting the premise and testing you if you're able to get along with the subsequent movie. 
Which horror opening do you consider the most gripping? Or which horror short would you recommend? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.